Hello and welcome to the Science Fury. In this video I will show how to make these gas discharge tubes. I haven't uploaded for a while, I don't have that much time right now. I did try to make some high voltage transformers, but they're not super interesting so I didn't make a video about it. So this is just like some windings around a um, paper and cardboard um, thing and this is with isolated with, with uh, wax but um, it's not super interesting the arcs are not very big so yeah it's I didn't make a video about that but you need high voltages for these uh, tubes they have no, no electrodes in them but um, you can hold them on Tesla coil or on a high voltage um, thing they will glow anyway even without any contacts melted into the glass for the gas discharge tubes you need a vacuum pump and i have this one uh, it's a two-stage rotary vane pump and this is not like super the hosing is not like super good i only use like a, a hosing and put another hose in there I'm not sure if you can see that um, I put another hose in there uh, just to keep it from collapsing so this is a normal garden hose and it's collapsing and so I made this hose in there and clamped it tight here and this goes to the vacuum port it's not like a super great setup and I have here a vacuum gauge so to make one of these tubes I used some glass tubing and this is like I think eight millimeters on the outside and seven millimeters on the inside and one millimeter thick and that's perfectly fine you can buy this on eBay I found it on eBay um, I think it's borosilicate glass you have to uh, pay attention what sort of glass this is but uh, usually it's borosilicate or there's some other kind of glass I'm not sure what it was called but um, what you don't want is a quartz glass because this has a very high melting point I think over a thousand degrees but um, then you need a, a um, worse or not worse but like a um, more powerful gas burner for the gas burner I'm using like a super cheap one and with these um, gas cans and put this on top of there and yeah and like that's that's a super cheap setup and uh, you can melt borosilicate glass uh, with that already so that's super simple and pretty easy to work with the glass I used uh, pliers uh, normal pliers I also use like tweezers from time to time but they stick to glass um, most metals stick to glass and that's why I made this tool this is a carbon rod and from a from a battery sticked into a wooden thing to hold it and made a bit pointy at the edge and that's a tool to like get into the glass and make it bigger or something like that and carbon doesn't stick to glass so that's why I made this tool and you can make probably other tools out of carbon and th this will be a pretty good tool and it won't stick to hot glass to make the gas discharge tube I cut a piece of glass out of my from my tubing and I used a diamond um, bit for my Dremel and um, just scored a line and then broke it with two fingers and then you have a clean cut so you you don't have to use your Dremel and score or cut the whole thing you'd only have to score um, around it and then you're fine and can break it in half and you have a pretty clean cut first I started making this seal at the end and you do that by first slowly heating up the glass and then put the glass into the flame 
and hold one side with the pliers just loosely so you can turn the glass just resting the glass on the pliers basically and then after he it heats up and gets soft enough you can pull one side away and keep keep it in the flame and then the glass will be sealed on one end so you basically just pull away the piece in the pliers this is a bit wasteful you have like something like this or uh, something like this um, so you will be you will have a bit of waste material which is not too nice but you have you will have a nice seal on the end after that you want to heat it in the middle again a bit slowly at first and then put it into the flame and hold it with both hands and then when it starts to get soft you have to be very careful you have want to have a, a relatively small flame so you can control it easily and when it just gets soft enough you put it best is to put it out of the flame and then pull it apart and if you have it very fine like this one um, it's perfect and you want to leave it like that it needs a bit of practice so you don't pull apart and it gets too soft and then you basically have a seal already and you don't want that you want a piece of tubing here that's normal then it goes like fine and then goes uh, like this and this will be your uh, ampule at the end so when you have your contraption ready with the seal here and the capillary or whatever here then you can put it in the vacuum hose and i have a rubber band putting over there and this will hold it pretty well in place and make a good seal around the glass tube so this works pretty well it's a good idea to put it somewhere safe so um, if it implodes it uh, doesn't cause any damage and then turn on the vacuum pump and check if everything is all right and then you can turn on the burner still with the vacuum pump on and make a very small flame very very small flame and then you can start slowly heating up the middle portion and you can see it collapsing and you want to make it just that it's collapsing on both sides and then you pull it apart and you should have a pretty nice seal you can also twist it while pulling it apart so it's really making a seal and at the end you can make the um, ends a bit softer by putting it in the flame again but also you have to be careful there because the glass will be pulled inwards because there's still a vacuum in there so i heard to get the gas to glow i need a vacuum uh, smaller than one millimeter of mercury uh, i'm not sure if this is exactly minus 14 psi but i just leave the pump running while i seal the glass tube and it's it's more or less uh, at minus 14 psi or even below that but yeah i just leave the pump running and then it should be fine but just a tiny bit above it and the gas won't glow in the tube and then you're done then you have this sealed glass ampule under vacuum of course this is air so this is glowing like more or less blue i'm not sure how it looks on the video you can check this so on the video it looks pretty white I will turn on turn off the light so on the video it looks pretty wide it is what actually is exactly the color that that it is in real life so it's kind of white a bit bluish but this is air and of course you can do it with other gases then you need 
a whole system to put other gases in there, um, but I don't have any other gases. Uh, what is probably very interesting is neon. That's how neon signs are made, by just sealing neon in a vacuum glass tube. But yeah, this is super easy to do, though you need a vacuum pump, otherwise uh, it's not working. Um, but any other tools as well are pretty cheap and you can make them pretty easily. Alright, I hope you liked this video and until next time, bye!